AP3, where elementary aged girls claim the suspect followed them in a white Chevy sedan. And now to another story that you will see only right here on 12 News Tonight. Three Tempe men locked up, accused of sex crimes involving children. Some details just too graphic for television. The cases all coming to light during a police operation called Picture a Safe Holiday. Trisha Hendricks joins us live from the Maricopa County Jail where the suspects are being held right now. Trisha. Vanessa, police tell us the three suspects were using the internet for horrific crimes, child pornography. They were downloading, they were sharing pornographic images, pornographic videos of children. Lieutenant Mike Pulley with Tempe Police describes disturbing facts that led up to this round of child porn arrests. They were targeting other children. They were sharing this with other children. The arrest stemmed from information sex crimes detectives received from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. The investigation's complex. Seizing their computers with search warrants, doing a forensic exam on these computers. One of the suspects is this man, Timothy Sandifer. The other two, Michelle Kassem Alkasem and Alexander Michael Hart. After doing the forensic exams on each one of their computers, police discovered the sickening images and videos. It's unexplainable and it's and it's terrible. Police have a lot of evidence, but sadly, at least right now, they don't know who the victims are. Unfortunately, that's part of the investigation that, that is so hard to find is who are these children that are being forced into these actions that are being taken advantage of. But the investigation is ongoing. We know there's possibly more people out there and we're going to keep looking until we find them. This operation serving as a reminder for all parents that we look out for our youth. We look out for our children. We know who they're talking to. If they're hiding their phone, if they're hiding their conversations from you, that should raise red flags. Any child can become a victim of this. Each suspect is facing charges for sexual exploitation of a minor. If convicted, they could face up to life in prison. We are live downtown Phoenix. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. Trisha, thanks. New video tonight of President Barack Obama. Tonight. Handcuffed, intoxicated, and unable to save his own life. Tonight, one man paying the price for the death of an ASU student who drowned at the bottom of a Missouri lake. 20 year old Brandon Ellingson drowned after he fell off a patrol boat. The trooper who took him in now charged with involuntary manslaughter. His actions called reckless, and he's on leave without pay. A damaged mosque, but no arrest tonight. One phase of the project next year. The 2011 shooting left six dead and 13 injured, including former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. And now let's take a live look outside right now. It is a lot of members. The path to this Scottsdale teacher's arrest now fully detailed and the accusations are shocking. Police say Christopher McKenna from Chaparral High School sexually abused a student and it may have been going on for 18 months. Police found out about it after the teen's friends told her mom. Detectives say they eventually found more than 2,000 text messages and photos between the two which had been deleted. A long list of accolades but one choice in life we know this former U of A track star must want to erase. He's accused Flagstaff coming in at 48 degrees tomorrow. Police say Chima Aguwu worked for the Department of Corrections at the time. The three-time Olympian claims he was just trying to protect his family. He'll have to tell that to the judge at the end of this month. He's calling it a strange legal strategy. Tonight, Arizona's Attorney General very open about... <laughs> oh! The greatest Christmas story ever told. Your costume... ...the face, but moving out for Stacy was still tough either leave everything. I, I did have a friend who was willing her and her husband to help me, but if it weren't for them, and a lot of women, they don't have friends that's going to help you in a situation like that. They don't want to get involved. Nobody wants to get involved. For that very reason, a new moving company, Burley Sons Moving and Storage. Always go back to what does the law say it is hard to find skimmers without opening the pumps. They were in the superstitions. We are now hearing from the rescue crew who overcame the odds and helped save a man's life after witnessing the death of two of his friends. The survivor is very cold, scared. And while you're there, check out one of our top trending stories of the day. 
Tempe Craft Brewer Four Peaks is plotting the first steps in a national expansion after agreeing to be taken over by the maker of Budweiser. Now that deal announced today puts Four Peaks in Anheuser-Busch's growing collection of small craft brewers all over the country. Four Peaks three co-founders say they'll still be running the business, but the deal could eventually put their Arizona beers in bars, restaurants and supermarkets all over the country and possibly starting with California. Half of our state. Old police telling us none of them was wearing seatbelts. A North Phoenix man in the hospital while police look for the person who shot him. It all happened at the victim's home. And you can see why a food truck's moving out. This is the last of those Star Wars themed ADOT signs all over the valley. You're going to hear from the team behind that creative campaign. Plus, special delivery how these elves are encouraging hundreds of valley kids to read. And uh, one breathtaking picture here, why taking this photo was no easy accomplishment for the ASU scientists. Warm weather today was breathtaking. Cold front moving through. I'll tell you how it's going to affect your weekend plans in just a few minutes. Amazing food truck eats. $100 million since there were no winners during Wednesday's drawing. And yes, we've been waiting all week for this Sunday night, and finally it is almost here. Cards and Eagles on Sunday Night Football. So much on the line for this one game. So let's head upstairs and check in with our very own Cameron Cox for more. Hey, Cam. Hey, Vanessa. Can't wait for Sunday Night Football. You know, I, I read a great, great quote tonight that reminds me of the Cardinals. Do better, be better. There is no try. You know, you Star Wars geeks out there will get the reference. In other words, this team isn't satisfied with what they have accomplished. And they don't, you know, they don't hand out championships in December, but they do hand out division titles. The Cardinals can win the NFC West title with a win on Sunday. Even better if they win and Green Bay loses to the Raiders, then the Cardinals can clinch at least a first round bye in the playoffs. Drop Powers. What is Bruce Arians' message? No, he says it's a special feeling, you know, when you get to play for a T-shirt and hat. These times don't come often, and uh, when, you, when you get that opportunity to clinch it, you better clinch it because in the NFL, you know, things can change drastically, and, uh, you know, we want to make sure we do that uh, this week. And then quickly yanks the decoration right out of the ground. Police believe once decoration thieves are after the star shower lights, they cost about 40 bucks, but some of them can be resold. The family of a former Phoenix police officer named George Cortez. You might remember he was killed in the line of duty. And tonight, the Phoenix Suns right there honoring his family. Gifts before the holidays, a touching sentiment there during a hard time of year. Feeling very overwhelmed, very emotional. It was just an awesome thing to do with my ki for my kids around this time of the year. It was just, we thought we were coming to watch a Suns game, and it was just amazing that people still care. And an organization like this would do something so kind for our family. It was first responders night over at the game. And it was a warm one this afternoon. Now we're getting into the evening. going to be talking about over the weekend. Let's toss things over now to Jimmy Fallon for a look at what is coming up later on The Tonight Show. Hi, Jimmy. Hey, guys. Channing Tatum is here for Egg Rush. It's the season of Audi sales event. Lately, and tonight we're taking action to keep you safe after a string of car... Awesome. Scary mo Closet. And a political analyst... Crashing through the door. Look at the mess it left behind. It happened in Moundsville. Medics rushed two people to the hospital, including one man who got pinned in the crash under the SUV. Both should survive. Police say the 82-year-old man behind the wheel at the time simply confused the brake and the gas pedals. New tonight, NASA is calling it looking over the limb. It is a stunning new image of the Earth and the moon here from a lunar orbiter. And the image was taken by a team at ASU. 3TV's Derek Stahl is live from the Tempe campus to explain the challenges behind this uh, space selfie, if you will, Derek. Good evening. Yeah, the scientists tell me it really comes down to having perfect timing. You're dealing with an, a lunar orbiter that's more than 200,000 miles away, and it's traveling more than 3,500 miles an hour. 
The ASU researchers control three cameras on board the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. The NASA orbiter has been flying around the moon since 2009. And the first challenge is that the cameras themselves don't move. The team has to actually rotate the spacecraft to just the right angle. All of this, it lights up everything. Ah! More like an office scanner. You know how the scanner has that light that. Now, current lessees switch to G. One pixel at a time. Imagine you're driving along the freeway and you have that one pixel camera and you're trying to take a picture of a roadside uh, feature. So you have to time it exactly to point in the right direction and, and sequence uh, taking individual images to build the composite image. Now, once the ASU researchers get an image, they have to stitch it. 57 a pound. Luck. Live in Tempe, Derek Stahl, 3 TV. Derek, thank you. Safe driving doesn't usually have a reputation for being funny. Well, state road crews are trying to change that with clever message boards. This week, maybe you've noticed Star Wars references and a newfound sense of humor have awakened a force of attention. This creative streak is coming from the Twitter generation, an idea that a short, clever message can change a boring safety warning into a conversation, and it looks like it's working. The messages aren't written by just one person, but an entire empire of ADOT Twitter Jedis. Oh, you have to be a headline writer in order to fit things across because you have 18 characters across each of the three lines. So yeah, that's, that's part of the staff getting together and saying, okay, how does this fit? Uh, what would Luke Skywalker have said? And behind every funny saying is the goal to get people talking about safe driving like that Thanksgiving message, uh, drinking and driving go together like peas and guac. Remember that one? I like this uh, one better. Yeah, I like this one better. Next up, they're going to start looking for holiday-themed message boards next week. Well, the controversial uh, casino in the West Valley is set to open this weekend. The Tohono O'odham Herbert three or four times with a large butcher knife. Smith says she did it after smoking a substance. New developments tonight, Martin Shkreli, the medical entrepreneur widely criticized for ordering large drug price hikes, has resigned as CEO of Turing Pharmaceuticals one day after federal authorities charged him in an unrelated securities fraud scheme. Shkreli was back in his Manhattan apartment overnight, released on bond and swarmed by the media, wearing sunglasses. Bernardino Massacre, California's governor calling a state of emergency tonight to help this community recover. This, as President Obama met with victims there tonight, 14 people were killed, the two killers taken down by police, and their friend now facing a slew of terrorism charges. Tonight, one Valley group taking action for those victims of the attack. Phoenix Barber School has a fundraiser planned for tomorrow. All sales from their haircuts are going to be donated to the families of the attack victims. We are sorry what's happened for this victim, and we love you, and we support you, and we support the United States. Haircuts, $7 each all day from 9 to 5. You can find the Barber School at the southwest corner of 35th Avenue in Northern in Phoenix. Democracy 2016 now. The Democrats about to face off. Early morning on Thursday, not long before he would be arrested by the FBI. It all unfold right here on...